Turn around and face your vehicle. Man, don't listen to me. Police dash cam video shows what appeared to be a routine traffic stop in New Mexico last month. It's hard to listen to. There are kids inside of that van. When officers say Oriana Farrell refused to stop, you saw things got ugly. After a high-speed chase, Farrell and her 14-year-old son are seen fighting with the cops. Well, eventually, officers fired shots at the van with her five kids inside. Farrell says it's not right, even sent out an op-ed into the local newspaper. She writes this. An ununiformed officer can shoot three bullets at my van and be considered to be doing his job. But my doing what I can to get my own children away from such a terrifying individual has been termed child abuse and endangerment, according to New Mexico law. Farrell says she's an upstanding citizen who works hard to help others through her blog on parenting and homeschooling advice. Well, joining me now to talk about all this is defense attorney Jeff Gold. Jeff, good to see you here. I know that many people, when they see that video, they're wondering why didn't she just pull over she says she was afraid is that a defense look she, she it's not that she didn't pull over she ran away mm -hmm. <laughs> he's given her a ticket or whatever he's doing to investigate she resists she takes off so really she starts this whole thing in motion these cops just don't know what's going on they don't know what's in that car there could be a dead body in mm -hmm. the car nobody really knows so she sets them in motion does it end up the right way? No. Right. The cop, an assisting officer, shoots three times at the van. That's not right either. But she starts it in motion no matter what she says now. What was she terrified about? A ticket? So you think that both sides had some wrongdoing here. How do you think this thing's going to turn out? Well, I think the cops had more wrongdoing because they're officers of the law. They should know better. There is very little justification for shooting at a minivan full of kids. I mean, and there's also this bashing out the windows with, you know, kids in the back. But even if you accept that, shooting at the van is almost unacceptable everywhere. Back in the, in the day, you know, at common law, you could shoot a fleeing felon and presumptively when she took off she might have been a felon but it has to be reasonable there has to be a justification mm -hmm. you have to think she might kill somebody or she might kill you or she might cause great harm here it was just a minivan mom taking off you don't shoot at the vehicle yeah and we're learning much more about this woman she seems very close to her children she doesn't fit the bill if you will of a person who would just run off you know those high-speed chases that we cover here um, so does that help her in court when she has to face these officers? Well, I, I think uh, she's going to sue these officers. I think the officers are going to have their own administrative problems. The three officers involved are still working, although the one who shot, mm -hmm. he came in later. He was assisting. He really didn't know what was going on. I think he's in the worst of the position because he, he didn't ascertain the situation properly to, to know that whether there was a danger or not. Yes, there was a little bit of uh, 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 almost an assault of the officer by the 14 or 15-year-old son, but nothing to justify shooting at this vehicle. I mean, even if you say, Susan, that you mm -hmm. were going to shoot at the tires, that almost never works, and that's exactly. dangerous in and of itself. Most departments have procedures that avoid things like this. Uh, and then, by the way, they're in Taos, you know, in a lonely stretch of road. At this time of year in Taos, New Mexico, it's neither the summer mm -hmm. where there's a lot of tourists nor the winter where there's a lot of scares. There's nobody on this it, road. There's what a lot of wrongs in this, and when you see the surveillance video, it is chilling with uh, the dash cam video with kids in the car. Always good to talk to you, Jeff. Thank you. Coming well, up, we